Accessibility Stories, brought to you by DQ. My name is Corb, and this is my accessibility story. I just graduated from the George Washington University, and while I was there, I found myself uh, the last few semesters wanting to use more screen readers or use more Braille. And a lot of the resources that colleges and professors are using are not currently accessible. Um, I would have to spend, as a, as a blind student, I would spend $150 on a textbook, on a paper textbook, that I couldn't use. We would have to spend time making that book accessible. I am sometimes uh, frustrated that I have to be less efficient. Um, I can still use Facebook by Zooming, for example, uh, but I'm not able to use it as efficiently as I would like to. I find myself uh, getting headaches in the afternoon because I've had to struggle to see things. I find myself um, working harder to do the most routine task of data entry rather than saving that extra brain power for tasks like uh, strategic thinking and directing um, a vision or a mission of a company that we're working with. O Consulting Group mostly works with nonprofits and small companies um, in their internal and external communications. Having an accessible internet has been crucial for the work that we are able to do for our clients. Um, it, so much of market research uh, is so much more accessible now because everything is one search engine away um, and because I rely heavily on uh, newspapers, not just in my local area, but where my clients are located and national papers, having services like NFB Newsline that allow me to access newspapers in a way that um, a sighted person would, just being able to flip through a paper very quickly and very easily um, and being able to use those websites to go through the archives um, has really made a difference. Web accessibility literally saved my back. I was so used to using my vision that I would zoom the computer screen and lean in to the point that I was staring at my computer all throughout college with a hunched back and a few years ago would have probably been sitting like this. But because I've been able to use Braille and use um, the speech output from my computer through accessible websites and accessible computer programs, I can sit up straight, which is great to be able to do that in a meeting and look confident. It's also great because it saves me some chiropractic bills uh, when I'm able to just sit up and do my work and not focus on seeing my work but focus on thinking and doing the work that needs to be done. When a blind person is deciding, do I go into uh, an exciting and uh, fun and flexible world of starting my own business, my advice is go for it.